Today we're looking at some serious firepower. Mods for heavy weapons that could bring down just about anything in the Commonwealth. So grab your gear, cause things are about to get intense. For all you shotgun fans, feast your eyes on the Heavy Select Shotgun. This beastly shotgun is a true community creation. Built from ideas and votes by the modders YouTube subscribers and Facebook followers, they crafted an industrial pump-action shotgun that'll get you out of even the toughest spots. High damage, low shell capacity, just what you need when you want firepower without any pesky spin-up time. Head to Saugus Ironworks to find this monster, hiding as an additional reward for completing Out of the Fire at Finch Farm. Even if you've already completed the quest, no worries. It's there waiting for you on one of the catwalks. Watch for the special animation when you pick it up. It's like picking up pure power. Next, we have the WHMK-22 Heavy Machine Gun Redux Legacy. You might recognize this beast from some of my other videos, like the How to Find the Liberty Power Armor Guide. This isn't just any gun. This machine gun and its little brother, the Mark 19, are here to shred anything that moves. The MK-22 doesn't just come in one caliber. Oh no, we have two complete setups. The modder decided to make the 5mm variant its own gun, the Mark 19. So now, you've got two options for total devastation. For customizations, we've got six barrels, four muzzles, four receivers, three sights, five ammo types, and six materials, plus two ballistic shields and two magazines. The MK-19 type, with custom explosion effects. Not your usual explosive, trust me. They'll start dropping from level 20 on minigun spawns, but if you're in a hurry, hit up a shop or console spawn one. If taking down a Deathclaw in a single shot sounds appealing, the modular Simonov PTRS-41 anti-tank rifle is your go-to weapon. This mod brings in two versions of an anti-tank rifle, the Simonov PTRS-41 and the Type 76, or Chinese anti-power armor rifle, designed to cut through the toughest foes. With an impressive 170 possible modifications, including 12 receivers, 16 barrels, five mags, eight stocks, seven muzzles, and 11 accessories. The customization options are endless. Plus, there are 22 ammo types to choose from, so you can fine tune it for any situation. Find these at higher levels on gunners, raiders, or vendors, or craft the ammo yourself in the chemistry station under the PTRS 41 tab. Trust me, one shot and you'll understand why I call it an extinction-level weapon. For those who prefer energy weapons, the Tesla Heavy Auto Cannon by Newer Mind is an absolute must-have. This fusion core-fueled weapon can give even behemoths a run for their money. It's my favorite energy weapon mod, hands down, and if you're rocking Tesla armor, this cannon will make you look and feel like the ultimate enclave badass. With nine receivers, six barrels, and three scopes, it's a powerhouse of energy destruction. Find yours at the National Guard Training Yard in the Armory Room. Just make sure you're stocked up on fusion cores. And finally, meet the one and only Punt Gun by D. Magnus, a massive 19th century shotgun designed for taking down flocks of birds, but repurposed in the wasteland to take down anything you point it at. If size and power are what you're after, this gun delivers with a base damage of 160, modifiable up to insane levels. The punt gun is heavy with a base weight of 35 pounds, but every ounce of it is worth it when you see what it can do. With nine receivers, four barrels, three muzzles, and a load of options for chokes and scopes, this weapon has both style and substance. It's script level listed, so you may come across it on gunners or raiders equipped with fat men and occasionally on vendors or legendary enemies. If you want one for sure, check out Dark Hollow Pond for a free punt gun waiting just for you. So that's it for today. Five heavy weapon mods that bring maximum firepower and devastation to your Fallout playthrough. 
hit the links in the description to download these mods, and let me know in the comments which one you'll take into your next Deathclaw fight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you out there in the wasteland.